In this video, we're going to be covering the shutdown procedure on how to save a file and how to actually shut down the console properly. So let's check that out. Now that we've reached the end of our show, you'll notice that we have the console letting us know that our file is not saved. So let's go ahead and head over to the automation window. Here, we're going to click save. And now the file is saved to the internal hard drive on the console. If we go ahead and head over to the filing, we could also save the file here. But now that we're here, we're going to go ahead and close the file out from the console by selecting the close button here. Here we're alerted with a pop-up if we want to unload all the files, and we're going to select yes. You will notice that my show file has disconnected, and you'll notice on the console that the automation window has gone away on the surface. Now we can choose to shut the console down. However, if we want to export our file onto our USB drive, we can go ahead and do that now. With the USB drive in, the console is going to be reading and analyzing the USB port. Now that the removable storage window has appeared, we can select our show file that we want to export and then head down here and click on the export button. You'll see that the console is giving us an alert to say that this file already exists on our USB drive. If we click OK and transfer the file over, this is going to overwrite the older file. And this is OK to do that. Now the file export is complete. For any show files that might have a lot of automation, the show file might be large in size and this could take a few moments to transfer to the USB drive. We can now go ahead and safely remove the USB key by just simply removing it from the USB port on the console. Now that our USB window has gone away, we're ready to shut the console down. Either on the left hand side or the right hand side of the console, we can click on the home tab, scroll down the preferences and scroll over and select the shutdown button on the console. Now we're presented with a window that's asking us if we do want to shut down the entire system. Let's go ahead and click OK. You'll notice that the console has turned red. In a few moments the console is going to actually turn to green. Once the console has turned to green, we're almost ready to shut the console down. We're going to wait for the two console displays to actually reboot and then finally turn black. At that point, that's when we're ready to go ahead and disengage the power button on the back of the console. Now, the console has been shut down properly.